Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. I'm a lead cloud native SC of custom by Yin, covering Asia Pacific region. A little bit of myself, I have, I have been heavily involved in the IT for over 20 years. I'm now 24 times multi-cloud certified. I'm a father of three lovely kids and I live in Singapore. On the screen, you can also see my email address, uh, my LinkedIn address, and also my Twitter account. Please feel free to connect with me. Today's topic is about uh, how I can quickly migrate my on-premise Kubernetes database or applications to Alibaba Cloud ACK cluster. Here is the agenda for today. So I will first of all to show you how to configure the on-premise backups for PostgreSQL database. And then part of the backup configuration, I actually not only take snapshot of the Kubernetes cluster, also allow you to export the backups to an object storage. And the second part is after the backup snapshot is done and also snapshot the mode to the object storage, I will import the backup from the source cluster, which is on-premise to my target cluster. In this case, that's Alibaba Cloud ACK cluster. And the part of the import restore process, I will apply two powerful transformation. So number one is, I want to transform the storage class from my on-premise CSI host pass storage class to Ali Cloud Disk ESSD storage class. And I also want to apply a transformation to transform my PVC persistent volume claim size from one gigabytes to 20 gigabytes. And last but not least, I will restore the PostgreSQL database completely. Okay, without wait, let's go to the live demo. Just to highlight, if you don't know how to create an ACK cluster, here is a link you can watch how to create an ACK cluster. If you don't know how to install the backup software, how to configure the backups, so the bottom link can you know take you to the YouTube video talk about how to back up the containers. Okay, let's continue on the live demo. I will switch my screen to the console. So here you go. This is my source cluster, which is running on premise. So right now you can see if I click applications tab, you can see I got a couple of applications. So the number one, which I'm going to show you in this uh, demonstration is PostgreSQL database. Right now, I don't have any policies yet. So I click create a policy, give a name. I will configure the policy as hourly and then I use the default snapshot retentions. And I also, as I said earlier, not only I do the snapshot backup uh, of the container storage, I also move the snapshot to object storage. So I enable backups by snapshot exports. So in this case, I was configuring the export from the container storage to AWS S3 object storage. So that's all we need to configure. By default, I already selected the PostgreSQL database. If I don't do any advanced settings, I can go ahead and just create the policy. But before I create the policy, just to quickly highlight, if you prefer API calls, prefer infrastructure automation, integrate with your automation tools, you can click YAML file here. And then you copy paste the whole uh, YAML file. And from the command line, you can just run kubectl command to apply the YAML file. By doing that, we will create a 
policy for you as well. So I go ahead, create the policy. Instead of waiting for the next scheduled policy run, I can, what I can do is uh, I just click run once, uh, which is basically I will do an on-demand snapshot. So I click the launch uh, on-demand snapshot. And uh, if I go back to the dashboard, you can see the job will kick off shortly. Yes, it is a kick off the short lane. So while we're waiting for the job to finish, I will jump to the target cluster, which is, was running from our Alibaba cloud. So from here, you can see, uh, this is my dashboard. Under my dashboard, there is an application. So right now, I go back to the dashboard, I click into applications. Right now, I don't have a PostgreSQL database running here. So after my next jobs, after the import and the restoration, the PostgreSQL database will be up running from the target cluster. So let me go back to the source cluster to make sure we have a successful backup. But yes, we do. While we are talking here, the backup job already finished. And what we captured here, literally we capture everything from your source Kubernetes cluster which we selected in the PostgreSQL database, uh, which I selected the PostgreSQL namespace. So what we captured here, you can see, I captured all the database related information and uh, I also captured the application configuration, application components. You can see all of the configuration captured here. So if I move down to the screen, you can see all the artifacts namespace, secrets, config maps, the services, persistent volume claims, all of the details are captured. So you don't worry about anything left behind. And while we are talking here, the restore job, uh, the export job. So basically move all of the snapshot, which I take to the object storage also completed. So my next step is I will go to the target cluster I will create an import job to import my PostgreSQL database from my on-premise Kubernetes cluster to my ACK cluster. How I can read the data from the source cluster? I actually forgot to take a copy of the token code from the source cluster. I need to go back to the backup policy and I click a show import details. And you can see there is a token code. I need this token code from the target cluster to read the data from my source cluster. Now I go back to my target cluster, create an import policy. I click a create a policy. Let me get rid of this import policy so I can create a new one. Actually, let me just create one. Let me call import post degree SQL test. Okay, I select the action as an import. You can make it a weekly, daily, or hourly. You can even make it every five minutes. I will paste the token code. So now I know where to get the data from my source cluster. In this case, uh, from all object storage. And after the job imported, I can automatically kick off the restoration, which means not just the, move the data to my target cluster. I also restore the application, which is bring up the PostgreSQL database. So remember I mentioned earlier, I need, I will apply the two powerful transformation features. So I click here, apply transforms to restore the resources. The first transformation I want to apply is, I want to change the post uh, storage class. So my source cluster was using a host pass storage class. My target cluster here, actually was using Ali Cloud. So I need to change the cloud storage class, the Ali Cloud Disk ESSD. And that's the 
storage class I was using from a ACK cluster. I click edit operations and I'd love to show you the power for transformation feature. So I will create an, another operations. So this time I will apply the transformation. I want to replace the persistent volume size. So resources, requests, storage. So this is, uh, by the way, this is a spec so from all my source cluster, uh, from all the Kubernetes for all these particular resources. Uh, the size, I want to increase to 20 gigabytes. So let me double confirm the path is correct. So let me click add the operation. So now you see, I got a two transformations here. One is uh, spec change the storage class name. The other one is change the storage uh, persistent volume size. I created the transformation. And uh, before I run that, let me just confirm I get the transformation correctly. Give me one second. If you like, you can go to the docs website to check, make sure the transformation, you get the correct transforms. So I got the transforms here. I want to make sure the storage size is correct. So I go to the storage. So you got the specs, you got the resources, you got a request, you got a storage. Yes, that is correct. So let me close this window. I go back here. All I need to do is I click create a policy. Oh, sorry, I forgot to select the import frequency. I can make it the hourly for now as well. Click import, create a policy. The policy created. So the test policy, that's the new policy I created just now. So in, again, instead of wait for the next scheduled job, I click run once. So after click run once, basically it would do the import and do the restoration. Before the restoration, we will apply the two transformation tasks. I go back to the dashboard and I will check the import status. Actually, while we are talking here, yeah, this is a import job. It just happens 6.32 PM. So the import job already finished. So within a second, the restore job will be automatically kicked off. So while we're waiting, let me probably just show you one more task here. So the re restore job already kicked off. It might take a, uh, could be a one minute or so before the restore finish. Let me go back to Alibaba Cloud Console. I can show you right now. Here is my cl target cluster. If I click namespaces, you can see I don't have actually a PostgreSQL database just created now. So it was created at 632, 38 seconds. And if I go to the ports and I select the namespace, I will PostgreSQL, where's the PostgreSQL here? The PostgreSQL database, now it is restored. Okay. Oh, actually, while we're talking here, the restore job already finished. It should already finish. The PostgreSQL database is up running now. So let me confirm by going back to the UI. Oh, yes, it is. So the restore job also finished. And now you can see if I go back to custom UI, you can see I got a five applications now. So the PostgreSQL database, that's the latest. It was restored from uh, the restore point, and this, this, uh, which is 6.25 PM. If you want to confirm, you, you can also confirm from the command line. Let me show you here. So basically this is my source cluster. On the right-hand side, that's my target cluster. If I get namespace, you can see the late the namespace uh, PostgreSQL just created 105 seconds ago. If you want to confirm the port status, 
Let's choose the namespace so we can see the port is running almost 77 seconds ago. That basically concludes the demo, how I can do the backup from my source cluster, in this case on-premise, and then restore to the target cluster, which is ACK cluster. Uh, it doesn't restrict that you can only restore from on-premise to the cloud. We allow you to restore from any other cloud to Ali cloud, ACK cluster. Okay, I think that's all I want to cover for today. Thank you very much. On the screen again, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on LinkedIn or send me an email. Yeah, welcome any comments or any feedbacks and uh, any questions. Thank you very much.